Hey, what's up, guys? It is Deathstalker Sinker here. We're seeing more awesome sauce from freaking Helldivers, the top down twin stick shooter that tells you to shoot everything, but they also hold your ammo and don't shoot your friends and don't drop stuff on your friends and don't die and a lot of other don't things. Um, Helldivers, that game, if you recall it. Um, I, this video is for the Defender DLC, and that's pretty much it, actually. That I don't know why I said ants. Defender DLC, it is DLC that just dropped, like I said, last week in my previous video. Um, it is some pretty awesome stuff, I will say that. Um, the Defender DLC came with a full set of armor for your, your individual Helldivers, um, including, you know, a helmet, some armor, and a cape. I mean, that's pretty much your full set of armor right there. Nah, that is not the only thing it came with, but that is some awesome stuff because the Defender armor actually looks pretty good. And it's a nice bulky build to the previous Helldiver equipment, and I... I would say it looks pretty nice, actually. I, I, when I want to act like I'm a heavy or you know, some, some type of heavy freaking riot shield type of guy, I tend to put that armor on. I don't know why. I mean, it's, it's just a small difference, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, I'm a big badass now. So therefore, I do usually go with that. Um, like I said, it is a much bulkier type of design. Um, it's not too bulky. I mean, like it's not like, you know, it doesn't have any effect on your speed or anything like that. Just to let you know. Her armor is purely just aesthetic reasons, um, it's just for visuals, and in no way changes like your health or your armor, or, I mean, there's no really armor bar to that, but it does not affect your health or your speed or any of those things, it's just for aesthetics, it's just for visual purposes. But, like I said, it's bulky, but it's not that bulky, it's not like it's gonna, you know, get in your way, it's not gonna look ugly, it doesn't look like you're out of shape or anything like that. Um, it's just a nice, you know, more armored looking thing. If you want to say, okay, these hell divers look too damn skimpy and stuff like that, and therefore, you know, it looks no, it looks doesn't look like they can survive a rocket to the face. Well, let me tell you, they cannot survive a rocket to the face. In fact, they can't even survive a rocket to the side. These guys die pretty easily, not too easily, but they will die, especially if there's a rocket. Because if it's a rocket, it's most likely come from one of your teammates, in which case it's gonna kill you because it's probably like anti tank or something like that. Um, do know that. That is not the only thing this guy came with. He also came with the, um, what is it called? The CR9 Suppressor. Now, this weapon did confuse the shit out of me when they described it because I've watched the trailer and then I looked it up the blog and I'm like, oh, okay, the CR9 Suppressor. And like, the reading description it says a semi automatic rifle firing small fragmentation grenades it is a volatile weapon but capable of de devastating large masses of enemies, hence the nickname Suppressor. Now, I don't get how Suppressor is, you no know, the name for something that devastates large masses of enemies. But speaking of which, let me get to that point. It is not devastating large masses of enemies. That makes it look like it can destroy a mob. Like, you know, it's some pretty vicious, like, grenade launcher, rocket launcher type thing. In fact, in the trailer, if you have seen it, it is, it looks like that single-fire rifle that he was using that had that really massive damage. Um, originally, when I watched the video, I was too busy, like, it was too much on this, going on the screen, which is why I did these videos solo because it, it's a lot easier to focus on the character with the individual DLC weapons or whatever you want to call them um, and therefore it was hard for me to figure out what the hell was going on screen and it looked like he had some type of like higher rate of fire rail cannon to be honest to me um, maybe if I rewatch the video again I'm like oh you dumbass it looks nothing like that but this um, this suppressor is pretty damn sweet it is like I would say um, a single fire rifle when it comes to like you know just describe it in the simplest way, except it's loaded with an explosive ammunition type shot. They did say it's firing a small fragmentation grenade, so that you know that's where that comes from. But it looks more like a, just a single fire rifle with explosive ammunition. If you want to describe it as a rifle that's firing fragmentation grenades, okay. But I mean, I just find that it's easier said that way. That being said, it is not because you've seen the frag grenades go off in this. It is not a massive explosion as you see in the video as well. It's a nice boom to them. Now, I am playing, I think, a difficulty 8 mission, so the enemies will have a decent amount of health, so you may see that some people are surviving a lot of damage or, you know, full freaking shots. Reason for that is because of the illuminates for one, and two being that it's not the most powerful weapon in the game. Um, I'm guessing that's why it's called the Suppressor, not the Devastator. I would, I would love the Devastator then, but, um, yeah, that's typically what it is. It's a single fire freaking explosive rifle, basically. That's like the simplest terms to say it. If you've played Battlefield 4, I would say like a DMR with explosive shots. Um, 
Yeah, that's pretty much like what it is right there. That's actually, I think, the best way to describe it. Now, do you know that it does get some upgrades that are pretty awesome, like the extended magazine is the first one, and later on it gets the um, armor piercing and grenades, whatever, or armor piercing damage, which doesn't mean like it pierces armor, therefore you can take down like you know tanks and stuff like that, but it does um, deal more damage to the armored units. So therefore, those lightly armored guys, those medium armored guys, it will fuck them up pretty good. Um, I have not got it yet, but when I do, I will like drop a comment down in the section and let you know that it generally is pretty good, or if it's really bad. I mean, I, I, I have high faith in this because it's actually pretty good. I do recommend using a laser sight with this. Um, it varies from person to person, of course. I'm just saying that because my aim isn't top notch. I mean, I do land some pretty decent shots on these little scoutish illuminates, but um, it's more lucky shots than anything. Um, it does take a little aim, like a sniper rifle or a rail cannon, a rail gun. So therefore, you know, you want that. You want to know where that round is heading, and because the ammo is kind of limited to the clip, you know, you want to watch out for something like that. It's not like the laser rifle where you can hold down the trigger and I'm like, okay, I may have been a little bit off, but I can just adjust the aim and I'll sweep the field, or whatever. Um, it is not a assault rifle, so therefore you can't just spray until you know you make a couple of hits. You know, each round missed is a loss, really. But do know that since it's an explosive, it does have splash damage. That being said, um, I did learn this the hard way. Um, I don't recommend this for playing against the bugs too much. I mean, it is pretty. It does do good damage to them, but the bugs tend to rush you, and when they do rush you, you will probably blow yourself up. So that being said, careful with that. But you know, if you hit a wall, you shoot a wall, you're pretty damn good. Because you know, you can. I mean, if you shoot a wall near you, you're pretty fucked. But if you shoot a wall near them, it hurts them still. And therefore, it can, it's good for knocking out multiple enemies too. Um, the other thing that just came was is the guard dog. The guard dog is the drone that you see flying around me in the map. Um, it is a backpack feature thing, so therefore, when you pick it up, when you call it in, it drops a backpack. You put the backpack on, and a little drone comes out, and he shoots enemies around you. Now, the first upgrade that you do get for this stratagem is the moving fire, because when he does fire, he sits still. Um, the moving fire I do recommend is like two points, and then after that is the AP stun rounds, which adds armor piercing and stun rounds to this little drone. Now the drone is pretty effective, I will say that at least. Um, whenever I'm solo on a mission, I do use this drone because that added bit of extra firepower is pretty damn awesome, especially when I gotta defend something. He has saved my life plenty of times. Um, it's a really, really fucking good thing. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm maybe a little biased. It is my favorite stratagem from the DLCs that came out last Tuesday. Between the Commandos one, the Supports one, the Defender one, this one is my favorite right here. The weapon is pretty awesome and everything, but it's not my favorite one. Um, the Sickle is. This one right here, though, this stratagem is my favorite. I carry it with me all the time. It's kind of fucked up because I used to use the Resupply for like ammunition, so I would usually call that in and, you know, that's a backpack ammo thing and you want to carry that around with you. But because I do not have um, what is it? If I do not have that backpack free anymore, I can no longer do that. So therefore, you know, I have to pass on that and actually call in the other ammo. Unless you use like a laser weapon, in which case you won't have to worry about ammo. Um, like I said, it's pretty damn good. Its firepower is on par with an SMG, which makes sense that it gets the um, AP and the stun rounds at the end. Um, they do work pretty well. I do recommend that for going against bugs because it really does sweep the field. Um, do know that when it's going for the little scouts, the little small ones, there is a delay between each shot. It doesn't consistently travel between each target like how the turret does and sweep the field. It does engage, break, engage, break. So therefore, it, it there's a little. It won't clear out an enemy, I mean, enemy patrol for you automatically, but it will shoot at them and neutralize them. Um, that being said, if you're doing a stealth run, it may not be best for carrying this little guy with you because he does tend to seek out enemies within a small radius, and if you're trying to sneak past some enemies, he may fire on them. And in which case, I did learn on another mission, a cyber mission, that if you if your little drone guy or your little guard dog goes and shoots a tank, it alerts the tank, and therefore the tank alerts everybody else. And it did not go too well for me, and I scolded him for that later on, but generally it's just something to keep in mind ahead of time. Now, I do know that it doesn't have unlimited ammunition, or it does have unlimited ammunition. Just both, I guess, a yes and no to that question right there. When it comes to ammo, um, it has a, a magazine, a limited magazine, I guess you can say. 
and when it needs to reload, it will go back into your backpack for about a couple seconds. I would say maybe like five seconds or so. And then it'll come back out and start resuming fire and stuff like that. So therefore, there is a break between this firepower, um, which is like I said, on part of the SMG, especially once you get the AP and the stun rounds. Um, do know that it does need to reload. That's the only drawback to it, really. And the fact that it's on your backpack the entire time. So therefore, if you're calling like, the recoilless rocket launcher or the... Um, shield generator, the lift packs, any of those backpack type things, it will go in your back. Um, if you're playing and you doing a solo mission, you have to escort, let's see, the black boxes or whatever, the little briefcase thing, I recommend this because alongside your pistol is a pretty damn good um, defense. And you can keep moving while this thing is firing, especially after you get that first upgrade, which I do recommend if you don't want to fully go into this, get the moving fire because it is very helpful. I mean, it is it's amazing. Now, as a whole, like I said, this DLC comes all together for, was it a full set of armor, the suppressors, um, rifle, and the guard dog drone, or automated defense combat drone, whatever you want to call it. That being said, those are all the things that come with it. I think the price is around like 3 bucks, something like that for the individual ones, it was like 250 or whatever it is. Honestly, if you're going to get this, and I do recommend buying it, um, especially for the guard dog, especially if you do a lot of solos, the guard dog... It's just a really nice go-to thing for those medium difficulty solos, and even those high difficulty ones. Um, that added bit of extra power, firepower is not another person, but it is added firepower. It's like having a little gun on your side. Therefore, I do recommend it, um, and I do recommend the purchase. But if you're going to purchase it, I say go for the bundle. The bundle is 6 bucks. You get the Commando, the Defender, and the Support DLC all together, and it's a pretty damn good deal. So you should definitely probably like, grab that, especially if you love this game or even moderately love this game. Or just play this game with friends. I do recommend it. Having that guard dog alongside you in the full squad, I'm guessing, I'm, I know, will benefit you. It may be less, you no, know, useful because I mean, you got four of the guys shooting the shit out of everything. But it'd be nice to have those. And then two of those in the squad. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys are like killing it in firepower. There's like fucking bullets going in every direction. So therefore, I do recommend this. Um, the suppressor. I probably need to warm up some more around. I think I'm just too in love with the guard door to really rate the suppressor. Um, the armor, pretty damn good looking armor, especially if you like those heavy riot chill, machine gun, you know, toad and rocket launcher, toad in type of looking characters. Go for that right there. That armor does definitely fit that type of theme. So overall, I'd say buy it, but buy it as a bundle. Six bucks, not that much. Twenty dollar game. You really are getting more than you're really paying for, honestly. Especially once the more DLC starts dropping, it's gonna be pretty good. Now, as always, if you did like this video, go ahead and hit it with a thumbs up. If you did not like it, go ahead and hit it with a thumbs down. All I ask is that if you do dislike it, just let me know in the comments why you disliked it. I mean, it's the least you can do, really. If you did, you know, dislike it, if you're not, you're just clicking dislike just to dislike, or maybe you're looking at your computer screen upside down and you thought that was a thumbs up, I don't understand that. I mean, shit happens. So, yeah, just drop a comment down there, express why you don't like it. Um, you know, criticism is, I wouldn't say wanted, but, um, <laughs> I won't say wanted, but, you know, it is nice to hear that, you know, if there's something wrong or something I can improve upon, to let, you know, let me know that. Um, I do like to know that ahead of time rather than find out later on that you're like, yeah, your smoke alarm's been going off for, like, you know, 10 videos. You know, I don't want to know that 10 videos later. Or find that out 10 videos later, you know, just drop a comment in there and be like, hey, can you shut that damn parrot in the back up? And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll tell my sister to be quiet. You know, that type of thing. Now, um, know that you can hit that subscribe button right there at the bottom if you do like my videos or you want to check out more of my videos or stay up to date when I drop new videos. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. It's pretty self explanatory. It says subscribe right there. I'm pretty sure you already clicked it because you know you're awesome like that. Um, you can also check out more of my videos by clicking on these thumbnails right here, these tiles or these videos or whatever you want to call them right here on the screen. You can click on these unless you're on like a mobile platform like your tablet or your phone because in that case, I don't think you can click on the annotations. I don't think they're enabled at all. So in that case, then just ignore those last couple of seconds. Um, always, like I said, drop a comment. If you've got a question or anything like that, go ahead and comment down below. Um, I do respond to my comments. I mean, if you address me, I will respond to you. I'm not going to ignore you. Don't worry about that. Remember, you can also catch me on Twitter and Google+, Plus, which you can also find me and ask me questions, message me, whatever. Um, all links are in the description.